Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about All-Star Brawl. Now, there's a lot of cool things about this, not gonna lie about shit lie about that much, but this game just doesn't feel good, you know? Um, I'm gonna give you a few examples in a hot minute, but let's just check out some of this other stuff. The online is set up perfectly. That is something that is very unique, is the online mode is actually pretty chill. And, you know, you have all your options, competitive play, quick play, online lobbies, you even have your pro player profile, which I have not even set up yet. But, um, if I was to choose, oh, you have, to, there's some to unlock. Also, I hope I'm not, you know what? Sure. For now, until I'm somewhere else. But, um, <laughs> anyways, we're just going to call that a day. Okay. Anyways, moving on, we have extras. Now, extras doesn't really have too much. You know, it has the gallery. I mean, it does have the moves, so you can understand moves. It has the music, replays. Not really probably ever going to use this, if I even play this game again after this. But you got credits, which is kind of cool. To nobody. Anyways, um, you have arcade. Now, arcade is really, 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 really lame. Don't suggest doing this at all. It doesn't do anything for you. I've done it once with this person, Leonardo, and about when I saw that there was literally nothing at the end to win, it, it was upsetting. Like, just just don't do this, guys. If you guys ever get this far and you see this button that says you want to quit, make sure you click confirm, because trust me, you don't want to deal with that. It's literally worthless. Unless you're maybe going to challenge yourself on it, there's nothing good about it. So, moving on. We're just going to stick to the normal battle rules here. This is kind of cool. They have stock, timed, sports. Now, sports is strange. And I tried looking at it earlier. One was soccer. Oh, yeah. Then you got to do this after every time you click an A button. Like, it doesn't have your controller on here already. Like. Okay. Well, this, it says right here, it says soccer, right? So you would think, I don't know, let's just go random and random and call it that, I guess. And we'll, let's pick a common sense kind of map for soccer. Let, I guess Technodrome Takedown. And we're, I'm going to just show you guys how not very fun this is. I mean, it can be fun, I guess, if you're trying to have a good time. But it's really just not, like, you know, intriguing. Like, it's not mind pulling. It's kind of lame. Okay, this map sucks. Why did I pick this? <laughs> but in all seriousness, you know, you have the soccer ball that barely goes any. That's the first goal I've ever had. <laughs> you see, that that's literally all this is. Not only that, but it's for how long? Uh, a long time. Okay, now, before I make you guys go insane... I just really spiked the ball like that. She about squared on herself. Okay, yeah. L just just don't do this, guys. It's not worth your time. It's literally really bad. Now, you probably do have a score setting. Let me see what the score setting is. I have not actually looked at that. I I did it on a really bad map and it was like awful, but um let's see real quick. Literally every time you do this, it's not even my controller disconnecting or anything. It's literally every time you click A. 15. First 15. Or 5 minutes. 6 minutes. I guess you could change that though, huh? Yeah, I guess that's smart. Oh, you got plankton. What's plankton ball? Okay, these, are, these actually might be decent, but... I still wouldn't really recommend probably playing them, since they're probably not the greatest. But, um... You know, timed is normal, you got time matches, stock. Stock is more for casual Smash players like we are, generally. And I guess it's okay if hitboxes weren't terrible. Now, if I were to mention how terrible some of these hitboxes are, <clears throat> cat dog, um, let me just give you an example of what it feels like to cry in front of the camera, okay? Now, cat dog has a really big hitbox that's probably bigger than the map. And that's not me being over-exaggerant. I mean, he literally covers half the stage. Let's see if he uses it. 
Now, there's no definite he'll use it, but he literally covers a whole bunch of the stage. And obviously, there's better maps than this, but I'm just using this map to see if he would, you know, use it, maybe? He hasn't, he's yet to use it. Come on, dude, hit me with it. I probably should have just used it myself. Now, that's one of them. Use your attack, my dude. Please. Or I'll do it myself. Come on. Hit me. Or I'll do it to you first. Okay, now will you hit me? Watch. That's not it. Dude, that's not it. Bro, hit me with the big thingy thingy. Dude. You're really not proving my point. That This is awful. I'm about to just like... Okay, guys, watch this. Oh, yeah. Also, you can't recover off of that? Okay, cat dog is really stupid. Like, look at this hitbox. You see that? See that? See this? Look at that. Bam, bam. Oh, yeah. And apparently he can't recover with his down whatever this is. Like, that move actually looks awful for poor cat dog. But, oh, my God. Dude, like, look at these hitboxes. None of them actually, like, align up, and it's really scary. I don't like it. Cat dog just is very confusing. Now, training mode is really weird. I don't like this, and here's why. Do you see the fact that he's actually hitting me? Now, in training mode, you're supposed to be able to not get hit by the person that's, you know... You're trying to kill so you can figure things out, but in training mode, he is attacking me? I don't know. Nickelodeon, what are you thinking? I mean, I, I understand you want things to be your way, but this is not the way, dude. Like, I physically can't practice anything on you. Like, he's attacking me full force. Like, look at this. I'm getting stun locked. The only way I could, like, get any kind of training is probably on a CPU 1. Do you see this? He's, he literally does anything in his power. Now, maybe... Yeah, I can't, I can't even stop it. Watch. See? He just moves. Now, maybe if I was to set him to a... There's a level zero. Okay, well, that, well that's still stupid. He still moves! He still moves! That's ridiculous! You guys saw that, right? He still moved. Even at level zero. Okay. Guys... Correct me if I'm wrong, but this might be the stupidest training mode I've ever seen. What? He dodged what? Yo, what the heck? What'd I die to? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, wow, and it didn't even fix the 999 thing. Wow. Confirm is the A button, but it's not working. Wow, maybe if I just change that to 4? No, can't even change it to 4. Wow, I can't believe it. It's almost like this game lied to me. The actual way to confirm is by clicking the plus button. It's so stupid. Wait, what was my health at 999? My health was at 999? Guys, let's just put it this way. Training mode is not very useful in any way, shape, or form. A lot of things are wrong. You can see hitboxes, which is okay, but there's a lot of things with this game that's wrong. Now, if I'm gonna be honest, some of these characters don't even look like their character. Like, if we're gonna talk about graphics here, if, you know, I can use my controller, hello, thank you. There's some characters with some very, very strange graphics. Let me just get some real quick, just to grab them and show you guys some of the weird graphic like characters that I don't know they just don't look good to me so let's just take these four for example and we're just gonna look at each and every single one of them now Leonardo you can already tell I don't like the style of it Leonardo does not look like Leonardo to me I mean he's a ninja turtle yes he has his stuff but doesn't cut it now take a look at something real quick wait there's no camera function. Still no camera function. Meaning the only way to see these characters 
is literally to look at the screen and see that literally all these characters look ugly. Now, oh my god, I can't even tell you how ugly these characters in front of me right now are. Now, Patrick's okay, but the other three are just so out of touch, out of order, you know? They just don't seem right. What is this, Patrick? Okay, yeah, let's not even look at this. This is too ugly. And after you leave every match, this happens. If you don't click rematch. You go through a loading screen, you go straight here. Which, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. It might be for some people, because you know, you can just auto rematch or you can just pick your character, like change character selection. But, I don't know. There's bad hitboxes, bad graphics here. Um... You have a lot of pluses, I mean, you got a lot, you have more moves in Smash Bros, which can be confusing to some people. Um, can be very, very <sighs> overcomplicated, you know, strong attacks being one button, and light attacks being another button, and jump, whatever the third one even is, special, I don't know, that's just all really confusing to me. I'm used to special attacks being B. And heavier attacks being, you know, like a held down thing, not like a push of a button. It's just very unfluid. Um, to be honest with you, with this game, I kind of wish I didn't buy it. Now, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying that there was much better things that they could have done for this game. And I f don't want to say it's a waste of money. But if I have to do this every single time I play a game, am I really going to have fun? And the amount of broken characters in this game is absurd. Now, there's characters that are completely dead. Ah, I wonder why. Maybe because they don't work. Thanks, Leonardo. Thanks any character that sucks in this game. You'll never see. Because only certain ones are good and capable. The only ones you're ever going to see online is probably Spongebob, Aang, uh, Zim, Powdered Toastman, uh, Lucy, Catdog, Reptar, uh, Nigel, and Phantom. That's it. You're never going to see anyone else. Maybe, maybe Oliga, but that's about it. No one else is ever used. It's very basic. The roster this game contains is smaller than it looks. The amount of characters used and the amount of characters in the game do not match. And that's kind of sad. Now, I, I, I get in other games, obviously Smash, there's a big roster and some characters aren't used as often, but you can still get results. This game, there's way too much unbalanced stuff going on here. And... In my behalf, if you are going to buy this game, you better like it. Because every time I click the A button, I'm not doing this. Every time. This is going to annoy the heck out of me. And it's not worth my time. So, I had clicked the back button and it still took me here. Good to know it's forcing me to play your game. Well, I think there's only one last thing to do, really. Really, the only thing it had... Hold on, can we just mention how the only thing it had was sound here? Like, no... Anything else? I'm not even trying to be picky, but this game had so much more potential that they put out than it really has. Let's go check the online system. Um, I've not really checked an online server how that all looks. 12 players... That's a absurd amount of players. Um, I'm just going to say call this for another day. Maybe I'll consider doing a video on this. But for right now, like I said, I wouldn't call this game too worth it right now. Maybe if they make changes and things turn better, I'll consider playing this more. But for right now, I think between this game and Smash Bros. Ultimate... Smash Bros. is the better game. There's much better movement. The bigger character selection with characters that are actually usable. 
they actually have little games you can do that's not like literally you guys remember in smash um was it smash Br not brawl was it brawl maybe it was brawl when they had the arcade Actually, you know what? Just take it as the Smash Ultimate, um, what's it called? The thing where you just climb the ladder and you just go as far as you can, winning. That's that's really what it is, but you have five lives each round. Meaning, you get five lives for their one life every time. At least on very easy mode. Unless that changes, I don't know. But, yeah, honestly, this game is just not very fun. Nobody wants to play it. I, I even got it to see my sister would enjoy it, enjoy it and try it, but she never even came into my room and tried, so I'm going to take it as a no. Um, it was worth a shot, I guess. You know, I, I, I was watching a little bit of videos on this just to see some extra information, but my final result is not very good. I expected a little bit more, I guess, than I should have, and there's a lot of things just they're lacking. Like, hitboxes are broken, and everything's going wrong, so... Yeah, and, um... If you get this game, have fun, because I'm not 